Each of our developmental classes has 10 modules. So our developmental arithmetic skills, which is our lowest developmental math class, has 10 modules. Um, each module has a test, a quiz, and a homework. And the students have to um, reach a mastery level for the homework and the quiz and the test before they can move on to the next module. Um, once they've completed all 10 modules, they uh, take the same final that anybody in a traditional class would take, um, and then they can move into the next class. If they finish before the end of the semester, they can move immediately into the next math class. Um, we've had several students that have been able to accelerate through multiple classes in a semester, um, and we have a lot of students that maybe they needed a little bit extra time to finish one of the classes, but with that extra time, um, between the two semesters, they've been able to um, get into the next class and they'll get through um, two or three classes in, in two semesters. Um, we've had some issues with attendance. Um, the first semester, we didn't have an attendance requirement. Um, it was that they had to be in the lab for three hours, but we didn't require, they didn't get points for being there for the three hours. Um, and we had big problems with them not coming uh, for, they would, miss weeks and, and we wouldn't see them and then they would come back and, and so they didn't get their coursework done. This semester we made the change that, that they do get points uh, added to their grade for, for meeting their three hour minimum weekly requirement. Um, I'm not sure if it's helped that much. It, some weeks it seems like it does and some weeks it, it still is, it's still, we're still having trouble with the, the attendance. Um, so I think that that's something that we're still trying to tweak and, and make better. Um, something that struck me that I never thought about before we began this, uh, Megan said some people take longer than a semester. Had they been sitting in a class, they would have either not finished the class, failed, or dropped out or something. And we talk about the lab being a mode to accelerate students, which it certainly is. But to me, if you've got a student that takes a little longer than one semester and then successfully completes it, they haven't failed a course, they haven't had an opportunity to drop out, so it's somewhat helping those folks who might not succeed in the classroom, succeed by taking a little more time. And I think that can be a potential advantage as well. 